I love both of y'all. They pulled the f over. What the do you, you think I live for? Bro, you finna get us f***ing killed, bro. They got guns pointed to the car, bro. Now, as we all know, life is about taking risks. And you know what gives life a true meaning? Living. Like this man two days ago where he got into a very high-speed car chase by the police. And he wanted to add more adrenaline and rush to the whole situation and live to the fullest. So he can fart out adrenaline and rush. He decided to have his two-month-old in the car with him while he's in a car chase, getting chased by the police. And on top of that, to save those memories, not only here, but in your gallery, iCloud, and social media, he decided to live stream the whole thing. We have another donkey tonight. Bro, bro. bro just pull over and put your hands up, bro. My baby is in the car, Dayan. Bro, my baby is in here, bro. You Bro, Dayan, just pull over. Let us out, bro. Fuck, cuz, cuz he's bitch ass snoozing, cuz. Bro, just let us out. Imagine the mother of your child and your two month old is in the car and you're live streaming this whole thing. You're, they're saying, pull over. Why are you putting our lives in danger? And you're looking at the chat. Chat. L in the chat for the cops. L in the chat. This reminds me of Neon if he gets older and in case he gets into a car chase. <laughs> it truly takes a very special man under this pressure to decide to go live stream the whole thing to talk to the chat. Maybe the chat, he thought the chat is going to give him some wise responses, wise comments, telling him where to go and where to hide. The driver reminds me of Neon and the woman at the back reminds me of Leon, his security guard, telling him not to do these things. But the driver not paying attention to any of the worst the security guard is Saying and Neon doing his own thing, just paying attention to the chat. Unfortunately, the chat is not available. I would truly like to see what the chat really said. But the video was posted somehow on his Instagram and it has eight almost 800 likes and 150 comments on it. Now, to give you a little bit of context about the situation, there was an armed robbery taking place by three men in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and Meanwhile, they were getting away from the robbery. The police spotted the car and started chasing them. All three of them got out of the car. Two of them went their separate ways. And this man over here got in another car, a Kia. The other two men immediately got arrested. We're not, we're not here to talk about them. But the man who got on the Kia, this is the man who started live streaming this whole thing and got into a car chase for a good 10, 20 minutes. Now, at the beginning, police thought it's a car jacking situation, but later on, they found out that it is actually his girlfriend and the two-month-old baby who was in the car. So I have a lot of questions in this situation. How did Were the wife and the baby waiting? Did he tell them to wait for them or they were part of the robbery? It sounds super fishy. Maybe he told them to wait there, wait for me. I have some things to do. Then I'll come and we'll go together and buy some ice cream for the child. We'll take him to some fun places to play. Or maybe they, he just popped out of nowhere in, in front of their house once they were getting in the car and just got in the car and got out. I don't know, but it still sounds fishy that the car and the baby and the girlfriend were there waiting for him in the car till he gets in and they can go buy their ice cream. And then they realize that there's a police cars and helicopter helicopters after them. And they had no idea that what he was up to and just realized that there is no ice cream that night. After bro got in the car, he decided to live stream the whole thing, taking advantage of the whole situation to create memories with his two month old. So in 40 years, when he gets out of jail, they will have memories to cherish together. <laughs> this is so fucked, man. After he got into a roadblock, there was nowhere else to go. He decided to leave the live stream and just get out of the car, get, get his girlfriend and child to safety. Finally, and that is the time he accepted his faith instead of W's in the chat that was spamming the whole time of him live streaming and getting away from the police. It came the L's in the chat because he gave up. He is a pussy. Social media, they will not understand real life. Any any person watching live streams, especially on Kick, they don't care about you. They, they don't understand how things are. And you can see the moments when the suspect emerges from the car hugging his girlfriend and his two-month-old daughter after leading authorities on a high-speed chase. You heard the girlfriend pleading for him to pull over. Police say the incident started with an armed robbery in Beverly Hills, which triggered the initial pursuit of three suspects. The driver in that initial vehicle pulled over in South L.A., where the suspects took off running, with two being taken into custody. The third from the original vehicle, according to police, carjacked a 
Kia sedan and led authorities on another pursuit through downtown L.A., Hyde Park, and Inglewood before ending in Culver City at a dead-end cul-de-sac where he surrendered in the Blair Hills neighborhood. Police learning the man's girlfriend and baby were in the back seat. The suspect arrested on suspicion of robbery while the woman was later released and the baby was taken to a hospital for evaluation, said to be doing okay, described in good condition this morning. The suspect, a convicted felon behind bars, facing a number of charges, including carjacking and kidnapping. Now, on a serious note, I think the reason he started this whole live stream was because to preach his innocence. Because on the live stream, he mentioned that I didn't do anything, meaning that he wasn't part of the armed robbery and he's being chased for no reason. Pull over, let us out. For some shit that Bro, I didn't let do. us out of fucking matter. My friend, if you didn't do it and you are innocent, why are you running away and putting people's lives in danger? Just pull over, say I'm innocent. You just made things worse. Since he was caught and he knew that he's facing armed robbery charges, he thought that wasn't cool enough, so he decided to go for it. additional charges of carjacking and kidnapping. Yes, there's a kidnapping charges. Thankfully, the woman and especially the baby were in safe condition, and the baby probably won't remember the experience of a lifetime that his dad gave to her it was a girl it turned out but it's it's absolutely shocking to me even if the, the you know the girlfriend and the child that were in the car and he was running away that would have been wild but live streaming the whole thing takes it to the next next level and from the looks of it he'll be locked away for a very very long time and that's how it's supposed to be that man has no right to be around any of his children that he has with any of the women's out there and his attempt for his no name to be known all around the world was successful but all for the wrong reasons so it'll be a good 40 to 50 years before he starts doing paid collaborations with brands absolutely crazy situation i thought i'll share this story with you if you haven't heard about it yet let me know your thoughts in the comments below like the video if you enjoyed it if you enjoyed these yapping sessions 90 something percent of you are not subscribed i appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.